go, the most controversial thing to ever come out of Maine sports, Maine high school basketball, but Maine sports in general, probably ever in the age of social media and debate and replays and all that jazz. I'm on camera for this game. This is the last game of the tournament. We were all exhausted. Just happy to see a good game, you know? We were just happy to see a good one. Down to the wire. One point game with 13 seconds to go. Central Rustic the one seed. Dexter the two. Dexter was undefeated. But Central Rustic had more heel points. So here they go. They're shooting a one and one, I believe. With 13 seconds to go. Up by one. Central Rustic made a big comeback. And they're on the brink here. Their girls team just won. They're on the brink. Just need to ice this at the free throw line. First shot. Dribble, 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 dribble. Here we go. Clank and the rebound, and we got to travel. Now, this was a hard call to make. It has to be a hard call to make. But I don't know if it was the right call or the wrong call. Honestly, let's look at the replay here. He gets it. I mean, there's really not I mean, incidental contact. If you could get touchy and call a foul, but late in the game like this, they're going to let that go generally, right? So, comes down with it. I mean, that's a... Tra <sighs> you got to call it a travel. But look at number five. Look how mad he is. He is mad. Come on. <laughs> not holding back there. So, they turn it back over. Dex is probably going to have to foul Centuristic again. They'll get another shot at the free throw line. Here we go. Inbounding. 12 seconds, only one went off the clock. Inbounds pass to Thomas, and he travels with it. Now, this is another this is another one. I really don't know. I really don't know. I think this one is the right call, just like the last one, but I don't know for sure. See, it all depends on when you think he has possession of the ball. See, he gets it. Watch his right foot. See if... Crap. Let me back that up a little bit. If he, has pos if he just now got possession, then it's not a travel because both feet are in the air and his left foot's going to land first. But if he had possession before that, let me back that up again. Watch this right here. See if he has possession right now, then it is a travel because his right foot's down and that's his pivot foot, which he switches. Everyone in the moment thought it was just a makeup call for the travel they had just called. Watch this again. She's looking right at it. Happens right in front of her. Mars Hill's not happy, but Dexter wasn't happy before, so it all comes out in the wash. Ten and a half seconds left if you look at that uh, clock. Dexter doesn't call timeouts. They they were in a tie game the night before against Fort Kent, hit a nice shot at the buzzer, almost at the buzzer. Um, and so they, they know what needs to be done. They're down one here. Just drive to the basket, right? Drive to the basket, you're down one. Marcel Central Rooster comes out in a trap here. That might have caught them off guard. I don't know. This is probably why they struggled to get any, get it towards the hoop at all. Richards to Pont, puts a dribble down, puts it up, swish. And I'm on camera here. I'm thinking, I got to get the celebration. I have to get the celebration. It was surreal because you almost expect it to go in because it's been that kind of a week. And everyone's going crazy. Central Rooster player is just devastated. The first three, there's a lot to unpack here. There is a lot to unpack. And bear with me. Look at this sportsmanship, though. Did you notice that? He helped them up. That, I got to acknowledge that. That was it's a good moment right there. Good moment before all the absolute chaos was realized by everybody when they started watching the replay. First one I'm going to show you is Parker Pont, the kid who hit the shot, his reaction. So he catches the ball with 1.4. Okay, so theoretically... In theory, he has time to take a dribble and shoot, but he you'll watch what happens. He takes a dribble, and if he had a normal jump shot, he could get it off because he's got, I don't know if that's point .9. I think it's point .9. I don't know, it's point f .4, whatever. Anyway, see, if he had a normal jump shot, he would get it off in time. He just floated up in the air, took a long time to get rid of it. Swish, and he never knows. Watch him. He doesn't know. Nathan Richards gets to him first. He doesn't know if it's good. He's like, hang on, guys. Hang on. Ref hasn't even signaled that. Let's watch the ref. Okay. This is ref number one. This is ref number two. I'm going to call him by that. Ref number three over here we do not care about. Okay? So he signals that it is a three-pointer, but he never signals that it's good. So he keeps the arm out. That's the mechanic. He keeps the arm out, and now he goes right to ref number one. Or number two, that is. He's asking, what'd you get? Did you see it? Was it good? 
She doesn't even acknowledge him at first. She's just looking for the basketball. See, she still hasn't even made eye contact. And then right there, that's the first time she's, she acknowledges him. They go to the table. It's like, okay, we're going to talk about it. We're going to get this right, hopefully. She's at the table for about two seconds, and then she's gone. Let me back that up in real time. This is another thing, okay? Braden Bradbury, if you are watching this video, I'm not sure what the chances are that you'll ever see it. Please DM me and tell me uh, what was being said because it would help me better understand this whole situation. Please tell me what you said, what they said, anyway. Watch this in real time. They go into the table. Bear, that was bad editing by me. She's at the table, and then, boom, she's gone. He's still there. He hesitates for a second. Now he's talking to people at the table, because he literally had no clue. That's the reason he didn't signal at first. Because you can always signal that a shot is good and then talk about it. He didn't even signal, because he literally... Didn't seem to have a clue. That's just my opinion, my take on it. That's why he didn't signal. Why else wouldn't you signal? So he goes to the table. He, he's asking them for help. And he looks up right here. And he's like, oh, crap, they're gone. They're gone. Watch the reactions. Mars Hill players, coach, just saying, no, please wave this off. Do something. Look at this Dexter guy. He's like, hold up. Hold up, guys. <laughs> All that celebration could have been for nothing. See, now he's really, he, he's asking anyone. He's like, did you guys have any clue? And this is why we need replay. This is why we need replay. Because in real time, it is impossible to make a call like that and be absolutely 100% sure. And he doesn't even seem 50% sure. At least by the body language and the fact that he asked his partner right away. See, and now... He, he almost shrugs right there. They ask him probably, like, where'd your, where'd your partners go? I don't know. They're gone. It's just me. I'm trying to get this right. And I have a lot of respect for him for trying to get that right. Because it really was. There's a state trip to the state championship on the line. And rumor has it he might have been asking for a replay. I mean, you got a laptop right here, and it looks kind of angled. I don't know if they were getting ready to show him something. And then he was like, hold up. That's illegal. We can't do that. Shouldn't be illegal. And then he's gone, see? And the only thing he does wrong, really, is that he doesn't signal that it's three-pointer. He doesn't signal that it's good. He doesn't do the, the field goal upright thingy mechanic. Doesn't do it. So that, that doesn't give anyone any closure. Marcel's just as confused as they were. But that's really it. Here, let's listen to the call here. So you by, see the ball uh, in Pont's hands right there. Bobby Russell. It's point three, and the, horn, the light's on, and the ball is probably still in his hands. But again, in, that, this is absolute slow motion. How many times have we watched exactly. it? And we just now really see the ball in his hands. And in real time, that's tough to call. Bobby Russell said that beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. You gotta bear, you gotta have some patience here for the refs because they don't have any aid with the replay. Like, like every fan had their phone out, whipped it out. That's no good. They're the only people in the entire stadium that can't look at a replay. And that's why this is bogus, okay? You gotta get it right, morally right, for the kids' sake, for everybody that's involved. You don't want the wrong team going to the state championship. And yes, it boils down to more than just one play, but that is why we need replay. My heart goes out to anyone from Central Rustic. I'm sorry you had to go through this. If this happened to Presque I'd probably... I don't know. I don't know. It's just my heart goes out to them. Wow.